what it is or what's, what's up, up? got up. your baby in the cup we're starting it now here we go video podcast video potty you can see our faces video potty yeah it's a lie we're in no elevator not this time what is inside of your elevator i know what you want me to say but i'm gonna go the other way and say grapes And a candle, too. <laughs> There's a candle and grapes inside you? There's a fetus. <laughs> I think, is it a size of fetus? The cat's out of the bag. Cat's the baby's the bag. inside of the uterus. We made a baby. We're we making. made a baby. It's still, ma- it's still in the... Pr- it's it's ba- still baking. baking. The baby's baking. Yeah. What is it like to bake? Bread? Yeah, is it a bread or is Cupcakes? it... Cupcakes? Is it a cake? Banana? Which one does it feel like? You're the oven. I'm feeling a sort of blueberry tartare. (laughs) So you're the oven and am I the baker? I'm the oven. You're the ingredients. You're more than the oven. You're just the ingredients. I provide the ingredients and the oven, the whisk, the bowl. I'm definitely the bowl. You shot it into the bowl. What? But the bowl stirs itself honestly you're the whisk ouch that would really hurt my vagina to put a whisk in there an electric whisk which is what you just said yeah i bet there's an OnlyFans page for that let's get on OnlyFans now let's do it now that i'm pregnant who wouldn't want to see that there's a crowd for that would you be my content creator i wouldn't allow it You wouldn't allow me to go on OnlyFans? Why? Tell me why right now, Sam. Because, Stara, you're you're mine. Stara? Yeah, Stara, you're mine. Only my mom calls me Stara. Okay, sorry. Sounds like you're mad at me. Van Quisha, your name you go by. Okay. You're mine, and I'm not going to suffocate you, but no one can look at you. First of all, I belong to nobody. That's my middle name, nobody. Okay, I didn't know that until just this second. I belong to no one. Why don't you ever pay attention when I'm telling you my name? Because I'm busy looking at myself in the mirror and then on camera. And I think if I want to be on camera and sell photos online for a living, then I should be able to do that, nobody. This isn't going to work, Stara. Then bye. What's your sister's number? Seven eight two four four nine eight six. <laughs> Are we? What did the people vote on? They liked it more serious or funny? Funny. And so then we're just never gonna just get serious. No, we'll get serious. You're pregnant. We're gonna go longer on this one. I can feel it. What's it like being pregnant? Turns <laughs> out, what's it like? Yeah. Uh, one day the next is always different. There's no through line of what it's generally like. So I'm gonna start at the beginning. First, Johnny was on top of me. <laughs> he was thrusting his. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Hopefully the parents don't listen to this one. Go ahead. Well, that's how it happens. Okay. So for that people is... that, that don't know about how to get pregnant, the P goes in the V, and a G's, E G's, E Jacks, elation, into the the uter nope into the vagina and then eventually the egg attach no the sperm there's billions of sperm they attach to the egg the egg's like come on buddy let's go and then they build an embryo okay and johnny right now is doing the physical uh embodiment of the demonstration of the egg what's that it's you implanting s- in the wall. And oh, vaginal I thought wall. you were pulling the dick out of the vagina. <laughs> implants in the wall. Implants on the uterine wall. And then it expands into a child really slowly. Well, nine months, 10 months. I thought it was a nine month pregnancy because that's what they always say, but it's actually 10. I'm still confused by that. That is news to me. I'm so confused by that. Are we sure not reading it wrong? There's a lot we're learning now that we actually are bringing a child oh, into yeah. the earth that I was like, wait, how I did thought I, I not stuff. know any? I didn't know anything. I thought I knew stuff. And then like, you just don't know what you don't know. 
you enter a new world and like it opens you go into this new room and there's all this information about stuff you had no clue like what else like i was never thinking about oh you can't be in a hot tub for too long when you're in your first trimester by the way I filmed for two weeks in Kentucky and I had a hot tub scene and I was mortified because I did not tell them that I was pregnant because I was only four weeks pregnant and that's just not a time to tell anybody. Mm -hmm. We found out I was pregnant the day before I left to Kentucky for two weeks without Johnny and Russell. Yeah. So the only reason we tested, well, one is because I was two days late on my period which you, I feel like you've been later. And I was like, I was, I was the most nonchalant. I was like, it's not, go, just, you're not. Yeah, he really didn't think I was. I but it was the one pos- time that it was possible. Yeah, because Because we had made time. a decision a month prior, six weeks prior. We were like, you know what? Let's not avoid this anymore. Let's just. Keywords not avoid. We know we want to have kids. Could it, we wait six months? For sure. Could we wait a year? Max. So let's just not avoid it anymore and uh, roll the dice. And the first time. First time. Took. Kids. The if, first time we tried, it took. Uh, kids. Kids, be think, careful. If you think you are safe because you're outside of those fertility windows, know that you don't know. No. No. I definitely thought there was going to be like... That window is like... If, five months. If you're trying, do it in this window. We were like avoiding that window, really. We and were just <laughs> open to it. And I, I assumed... I had this, this thought. All right. We'll, we'll open this new... Um, what is it? Can of worms. We'll open this new can of worms. <laughs> I hate that saying. Can of worms. Why did that come First up? First of all, they don't come in a can. Yeah. Who has... Oh, no. It's for fishing. Oh, it kind of is a can of worms. So what did we really open? The possibility? Yes, we opened a new possibility for our future. And I was like, it's going to be five months. I was so certain it was going to be five months of like this. And then, Except, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Well, you were thought wrong. And one and, and done. I thought wrong too. Yeah. I did. I what was did you like, think? three did- months... But then there was a period of time where I really wanted to skip because I really didn't want a Taurus or Gemini baby. <laughs> Man, in, look, the uh, I'm not kidding. She's not kidding. The prerequisites for um, I didn't really when want the a baby was baby born. Either. I've, I'm thinking about like, okay, so we need to be um, uh, we need to be living in a place like this. We need to be prepared. I need to prepare to get like a home with a baby and uh, this and then the space and then this. And she's like, it my cannot only, be a Gemini. My only priority is that it's an Aquarius. Or a Libra. She's Air serious. signs, they're easy peasy. First few guys I dated were all Aquarius and they were just chilling. But Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, I can't. No offense, you're fine. It just doesn't match for my air sign. What are the ones that are not easy? I want. I just I want, named them. I would say Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus. Yeah. If you're a Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpii. Gemini or Taurus... Can you please step forward if you're easy to I, be around and chill? My dad's a Taurus. What my the, ex-husband's a Gemini. Ex-husband. My my ex... I have a few ex-boyfriends that are Scorpio. I have a dear friend that's Scorpio. They're all fine. They don't need to be my child. Do you see what I'm saying? Am I generalizing? Does any of this make sense? Yes and no. So I get it's ridiculous. What's Russell? What's his sign? He's a Sag. Sagittarius. Is that good? Yeah, I'm a Sagittarius rising. When you, are when, fun. You, when you compare uh, horoscopes, astrology, astrological signs, is it always to men? Do you ever think about the women? I want a Libra woman. I w- if we're going to have an Aquarius, I want it to be a boy Aquarius. What's my mom? Because she's insane. She's a Cancer. See, we, a we can steer clear from them too. That's They're too emotional. Th- Why'd they name that one Cancer? <laughs> I'm very emotional. I'm a Pisces moon. Yeah, you're emotional. Uh... That's why I don't want an emotional kid because I just feel like it'll be too much. Or we'll just cry together and that's really sweet because I used to cry a lot with my mom. But we're both Libras, so it's confusing. Anyway, yes, here's what I was going to do. We were going to, you know, do it. And if it happens, it happens. But there was going to be like a three-month window where I didn't want to do it because of the signs. I'm not, oh, my God. It's ridiculous. Anyway, the, the, then we found out, okay, let, should we take this, tell the story? Of like taking the test and everything? 
Yeah. Oh, man. Because I don't I know was if the weird. world will ever see that one, though. See what one? The video. Yeah, we took a video. Manon was... Of course they'll see it. Well, not me hyperventilating. You might. You might not. It's embarrassing. I feel embarrassed. No, nothing's embarrassing. Fuck the I word embarrassing. I start sobbing. Fuck we, the okay. word embarrassing. Everything just is what it is. Let's it just is say that. It is what it is. It's Sunday. We go to the beach. Oh, my God. I didn't know what you are doing. Russell's <laughs> running around the sand. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving for Kentucky the next day. Mm-hmm. I'm two days late. I'm going, I should take a test. I'm going, you're fine. I'm saying, yeah, but what if on the off chance I am pregnant, I don't want to take a test alone in Kentucky in a hotel room without you. Yeah. That sounds terrible. So let's just go buy one. We'll film it. I'll take it. And if I'm not, then, you know, great. Mm-hmm. But if I am, then at least we did it together. Yeah, at least we. Yeah, she wants. We want to do it together. I, I think that was a great idea. But it was one of the smartest things you've ever done. <laughs> it's the most p- pre-planning. Sometimes. It's the most thing. It's the most she's ever planned for anything in her life. Yeah, I'm not much of a planner. I'm very mm-hmm. spontaneous. Hence the baby that we made <laughs> inside of me, still living, three and a half months. Continue. We set up the camera. You set up the camera. Set up the camera. I'm alone for like a go, minute. I'm like on camera like, what is happening? I like, get two tests. She does There's get two. one of each, one with the plus sign and one that says pregnant or not pregnant in the little display screen. I take the plus sign one first. I fully expected that to be negative, but I was nervous for the unrealistic chance that it was positive. You were what? I'm sorry. I stopped paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was, Uh, I was, sorry, Russell's, I just did not expect a positive. I know you didn't. You thought you were like just entertaining me. I was like, let's uh, film this. And I got nervous because the camera was on and it made it like more intense. And I was like, she really, she really thinks there's a chance for us to set up a camera and get two tests. You know, it's not the first time I recorded myself taking a test. There's one other time that I did it by myself and it was negative a long time ago. Not a long, but it was within our relationship, I think. Oh. I was just gonna like surprise you with it if it was, but it you had not you hadn't done the deed yeah. yet. So, so you set up the camera. I go take the test. I cover it. We set the timer. We're sitting there. I'm shaking. I'm shaking because the pee so quickly went on the test and gave a positive sign that I was like, holy shit, holy shit, oh my god, oh my god, is that a the is that the pregnancy sign already? But so I she like had a clue. I had a quick clue, like f- a minute before you. We both found out. Like covered it. I start shaking. I'm so nervous. I say, okay, when it says plus sign, that means positive. And then we uncover it, and we it says positive, and we both. <gasps> I froze. I thought my face did a lot of things watching the tape. Nothing happened. I was just. You looked pretty average reaction but inside i didn't i was like oh i know my. you i could feel you you just didn't look yeah I don't my look reaction <laughs> was enough for it was a strong one. all of she felt LA. it for both of us Showed i it. start sobbing hysterically and i'm like i told you i told you're you you're like shaking you're oh like this is a lot this is a lot this is a huge reaction why am i crying i was judging my I know. reaction was i was sweet. like this is really intense and then we just you just held me and then we were processing it. And then like five minutes later, I was like, should I go take the other one? And I went and take the other one, the one that says pregnant or not pregnant. And I barely peed on it. We waited, looked at it, said pregnant. And we just spent the whole day processing the fact that I was pregnant. And the first person we told? Laura Clary. Because we were going to brunch with her for me to... Yeah, we were just going to go to brunch because Johnny has never met her. Mm-hmm. And what a way to meet. <laughs> he filmed us, me telling her. Yeah, and then we got to like She's share like, with a couple close people. Yeah. But we kept it really, really, we really We had to tight. keep it private for like until I was back from Kentucky and until I was, you know, more than six or eight weeks because unfortunately one in five women have miscarriages within the first trimester and it's devastating, but it's also part, it's just the human body's way of going, something isn't right. You know, Laura said that to me. She's like, you know, that that, if that happens, it's just the body going, something was off and we're just going to take care of it right now. And, um, yeah, miscarriages are hard, um, but they're very common. So, you know, you have to be careful when to announce. 
basically. Yeah. So, so we were. We've waited the three months we, until we got had the appointment, right? Yeah, but we did tell our parents. We told our parents. They were very happy. Your mom didn't believe. She thought we were pranking. My mom thought it was a prank. It was really cute. It was funny. My grandma. You know what the best, one of the best moments for me was? Because my dad, he shows emotion, but I don't see the emotion. I think my mom gets to see it. But my dad at the dinner table, after we announced it, like the next night, I think, or maybe the same night, no, same night, he grabbed Manon's hand and he goes, hey, you know, you already felt like family to us and you already were part of this family, but, and he like teared up and he's like, now you have our blood in you. And you are, our d- you creating, are this family. Yeah, like, our, our DNA is in you. And I was like, I was like, dad. Our, yeah, your DNA and our DNA, it's creating something. It's different. It's different. Like I love Manon so much. I can't explain it. He there's, really does. There's so much love. <laughs> I really do. I love you so much. I love you too. And I have such a deep connection to her. Like she really, you really are my best friend and you really are the best lover. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right I mean, that, I mean that wasn't supposed to that. come out. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to come out like that, but it did. <laughs> no, you really are the best partner and you're the best playmate. And it's just like, honestly, you're so much, it's almost annoying. You do it all. And, mm. and I take you in any form and I get you in all these forms. So it's amazing. And, uh, the, the, keep it on after the, after the, after the podcast, uh, I just feel even closer and I'm like the dad, father, partner defense is already coming up. Like I'm getting more protective. I have like a little bit of catastrophes at times. I'm like, Oh, where is she? I should check on her. Like, uh, let me make sure she's okay. Answer me back. Where are you? Are you okay? So it's like, I mean, you're not that. I know, but for me, I feel it coming up more. Whenever I say I feel, 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 it's so deep in me and I feel it, but the world doesn't really see it. But I'm like, I'm so angry right now. Yeah, yesterday he said, I want to punch the... uh, Steering wheel. Steering wheel. And I'm... I've been around anger. I've been around angry men before. It's fucking terrifying. Pardon my French, but that's... It needed that word for how much it's pierced through my nervous system being around angry men. I've had a guy punch the windshield and shatter it in front of me and it's terrifying so for you to say those words in the tone that you did and for me to be like okay (laughs) it's like I don't know how you I don't know if that's good for you to not get that angry or I hope you're getting it out of the gym or somewhere else uh and I also my nervous system appreciates that you didn't punch the Wheel? Steering wheel. Yeah. Well, look, there's something. Mom brain already. Oh. Can't remember words, people's names, what day it is. I literally said, have a good weekend. And it was like Tuesday <laughs> to somebody. I didn't know what day it was. I do feel like a masculine responsibility as a large, strong man to make the world not scared of me. Aww. Like I, I Which want is true world, strength, right? I want the world to feel safe around me unless there's a reason for someone to feel threatened. But that's like, it never happened. That's like true strength. I feel like a lot of guys who are not big that want to be big, that they're like over, they're like a dog that barks for attention and they're like, I'm strong and I'll show you how strong I am and I'll prove it. And it's all this energy output and it just kind of. I get that. For you to ha- have said what you just said, I wish more people felt that way. Well, cause like and what, you, what you care that shows that you care about people. Yeah. What, what comes out of me? Like I wanted to punch a steering wheel. I was angry. I had like, there was energy rushing through my body and I wanted to take it out on just a thing to let it leave me. But if I did that, I saw it, I played it in my head and I imagined you scared and you like jolting back. And I'm mm. like, what does that do? Which has happened too. I had a guy who punched the front door and I did that and then he immediately felt really bad. Like, oh, I scared her. I got that zoom out power. That really is You're a good power. You're really good at, you just said you played the tape through, you zoomed out, you imagined my, how did you do all that so quickly? I think that's what's going to make you such an amazing father. The oh. one quality that's going to make, I mean, you're going to be an amazing father oh. for so many reasons. Oh, and you're a mother. Your patience, your playfulness, your ability to think ahead like that. That's why I chose you to be the father of my kid. Aww. I knew it pretty quickly after being with you. And I just had to wait. But then not long. 
Yeah, you waited for I the waited yes, and, and waited then once and the waited. yes came, you didn't wait. That no one happened. Waited. That's so weird. Uh, it's weird. So I had to go film in Kentucky this comedy series, which was really fun. The not so much fun thing about it was the nausea every day on set and then not getting to tell anybody about it other than one girl that was five months pregnant. Thank God for her because then I got to ask her all these questions and she was like my little secret window. I did end up telling people like the last day Mm -hmm. because I didn't want it to be about that. You know what I mean? I didn't want anything to... I wanted to be focused on work and performance and... But man, like there were night shoots, overnight shoots where I was so cold and I was worried that like, oh my God, am I going to freeze the... But weren't you getting secret intel from the other pregnant girl? Mm -hmm. You were like secretly asking things? Yeah. And I didn't tell her initially, but then when I did tell her, she's like, that makes a lot of sense. She's like, that man in bitch is real curious. No one's ever this interested in pregnancy. She's really curious. She keeps asking about everything. So that was hard being nauseous. I'll say like... A lot of people respond differently to the their pregnancy. A lot of women get hyper. Uh, there's a, some condition where they puke every day of the pregnancy. Mm. There's some people that don't get nausea at all. And they don't even feel anything. I remember I felt nauseous every day for like a month. I never threw up, but I really didn't feel good. You're and I was a couple so times, tired. I like yeah. You're really close. You're like, should I? Should I not? I don't know. This feels really bad. And I was like. I found when I cried, I felt better. I'm yeah, Manon, Manon is so good at expressing emotions. You think so? Yes, you are so good. Wish I, I could yeah. just do it on command, though, when I need it. You nearly do. Compared to the world that I've experienced, you do. I compartmentalize a lot of things, and then they have to come out in like exercise. You like out things. And I think we have a good system here between us where you allow me to out things. I just don't do it as often as you and I allow you to out them and you do it a little more often. So you, I think you get a good release on your pressure valve. I, I mean, I, or I have a short fuse or whatever <laughs> that is, where it's like, I can't tolerate that negative energy in my body for long. Oh. And I don't definitely don't want to now. I mean, oh, and I was really emotional. I was really tired. There was like days where I was sleeping for 10 hours and that's normal. Like people get really tired in their pregnancy. Yeah. And I was crying a lot. I was crying before we found out I was pregnant. There was, I hit my elbow and I started sobbing one day. This was before we found out. And then one time, an hour later, Johnny elbowed me in the nose. So I hurt my elbow or my foot. You hit your head twice. You went up and hit your head. Oh, I hit my head? You're like, oh, oh, I hit my head and then I I started sobbing and then you literally put your hand on either side of my body, my chest and my back. And I started crying and like feeling feelings. And if you guys would have seen it, you'd be like, um, is he a sorcerer? Is this a like freedom, emotional, some of Vedic, uh, some of Vedic, (laughs) somatic energy class that's just happening in the bedroom. And then an hour later, we were, we're laying bad. down. And I was like, come here, sweetie. I put my and arm out. And you elbowed me in the nose. I lift my arm to put it around her. And then she leans forward to come over. Okay, don't blame me no, for no, no, leaning no, no, forward. No, 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 it's my fault. You just also move forward. Then, bro. <laughs> and I hit her in the nose. And oh my God, I felt so bad. And it went <sighs> and st- straight into a big cry. It's like a kid that falls down and just sobs. Or like slips in the ice in New oh, York man. City. Just sobs. Hannah did that one time. And I... I always think about it. It's like when you have pent up energy, sometimes you need, I honestly think the universe needed me to get that out, that crying. Cause I cried so much that day. And then I cried a lot on mother's day, like on the whole drive home. And I was like, why am I crying so much? And that was the one clue that I had that I was pregnant. Mother's day. Yeah. Or crying both. So I will say that when the nausea lifted, there was a couple good days where I felt pretty incredible and I questioned, am I still pregnant? Because I feel really good. And that can happen starting the second trimester, which I'm now in. And I will say that I do feel pretty good. That being said, I need to be careful on my diet. And Then we started telling our friends and that was really fun. And most reacted just so happy. I had one newer friend that I told and her reaction was like this. Tell me you're pregnant. I'm pregnant. Okay. Okay. What do you need? I'm happy about it. It's a good thing. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. That's great. So. When I told guys, it was a, it was a, like most of the guys, I'm like, (laughs) I'm like, guess what? And I recorded it and they're like, are you pregnant? I'm like. They guessed it. Nice. Mazel tov. 
That was it. Yeah, girls react way better. Way they better. They are just like, oh my God, Manon, what? Oh my God, you and Johnny are going to be the best parents. I'm so honored that you told me I'm going to be in it. Like, it's this whole, that was Chelsea. it's so fun. <laughs> Chelsea. That one sounded like Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> that was your Chelsea embodiment. Oh my God. <laughs> um. So. It's been really fun to tell people. I recorded some people's reactions. Some people went in shock. Travis went full shock mode. Didn't move. Travis probably the best male he, response. Yes. Well, he's very emotional. Cancer. He's cancer. She called you a puss puss. Um, <laughs> no, he's just in touch with his. Hold on. I can't be doing this. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Now. Down. No, Travis is very emotional and in touch with his feelings, I guess. And he went like this. For about 30 minutes. <laughs> and then he just, we just cried together. It was really oh, beautiful. That's was, good. Yeah, that was a really good male reaction. Yeah, that's like the best one. Um, uh, I had a buddy moment. Moment like was through the moon. <laughs> he said I had a buddy moment. No, I, his name is Mohmin. Mohmin Reis. He was very excited. Tim. Tim Charlo. The dads really get it. Well, yeah. I mean... People hear what they want to hear. They hear their own perception. So they're either like, yes, most parents are going to be more excited. Most people that have kids are going to be more excited than those that don't because they'll either see it as like, oh, so you're not going to be around anymore or, oh, well, I want kids. And what does that mean for you? Like everyone puts their own bullshit into it. So or their own love. I don't know. I don't mean bullshit. I just mean <laughs> everyone reacts differently for whatever reason they're experiencing. Like I think Chelsea was happy because she wants kids and it's exciting to her and we've been on this journey together and all these things. And so it's like everyone has their own thing or they get their stuff out of the way and they can just be genuinely happy for you, which is Kind of most of the people we have in our life anyway, so. No, Russ, please don't leave. Please don't leave, Russ. This is what she does every time Russell leaves. Russell, her. please don't leave me. He just got groomed. He did. He's Where are you going? Perfect. Uh, any tips for the ladies? Me? Any, any tips for ladies that are uh, entering this, this journey of pregnancy? If you're lucky enough to get pregnant, it does fly by. The first trimester for me was the hardest. I heard that for 80% of the women. That's a statistic that I'm making up that I read somewhere. Um, the first trimester is the hardest and then it does get easier. And just allow your emotions to be what they are. Sleep as much as you can. Just don't judge where you're at. Don't think something's wrong. There's nothing wrong. Everything's right. Your body's changing the most in the first trimester because the uterus is getting bigger and all the hormones are flooded. And so I wish I would have gone easier on myself the entire time. Mm, amen to and that. not been like, why am I so nauseous? Why am I so tired? Why am I? It's like, and everyone's like, because you're pregnant. I'm like, it like didn't compute. I was like, yeah, but I should be superhuman and not, and feel amazing all the time. I'm like, what am I, I don't, even when I wasn't pregnant, I was still tired. <laughs> So what are you most excited about being a dad? I am so excited to see just a little stinker looking up and, and tugging at my shirt and asking questions. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what it is about it. I'm excited wanna, for I them wanna, to ask questions. I want to be able to guide a cute little baby through the world and, and just like be there when they want and need. That's exciting. I'm excited to have it lay on my chest enough for us to like nap together. <laughs> That's cute. And it'll be interesting if I can breastfeed. We'll see. Yeah, I think you will. We should start testing feeling. what it feels like I'll if you want to come on over. All right, let's... Uh... My boob... Oh, and the boobs really hurt in the beginning and now they don't hurt anymore. Now mine hurt. Now they're just juicy. And that's been fun. I've always really liked my boobs. Me too. They're not huge. They're just... They're... they're Perfect they're titties. just perfect titties. Perfect titties. But now they're Hashtag. perfect juicy titties. Now they're they're PJTs. <laughs> I love to love you. They used to be PTs. And the PTG. I love to love you. Make my feet in love And now we'll be there. Now the question is: Do we do we make videos with our baby when it's out, or do we wait oh, till? Oh, I don't consent? even think I want to think about that yet. It's a lot. It's like, of course, I want. I'm going to be filming the baby. 
I'm going to get videos. Do I need to put them online? I don't know. That's tough. That's a tough one. If it's really cute, I'm going to want to show it off. I'm going to want. But if it maybe has like a, you know, ugly face in the beginning. If the baby. Then it'll be like, hold on. Turns its head. I'm going to take that as it doesn't want to be on camera. Like this. What do you think? And it's going to go. Oh, okay. Head turned. No. It's really hard to say. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not there yet. Names. Punkleberry and Froderick. Punkleberry and Frodrick. We've been thinking about these names for pff, two eight years. Eight months. Oh, that was right. You're right. Eight <laughs> months. No, you're right. 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 Punkleberry and Frodrick. And no. foreclosure. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Foreclosure. M- meet foreclosure. <laughs> meet foreclosure. I really want to do. That's a video I want to do is prank people when I'm introducing and getting their faces and saying some crazy ass name and getting their reaction oh. and just do that a bunch of times. Oh my God. This is pickle. For closure. For closure. <laughs> <laughs> For wow. Closure. Oh, I can't think of anything funnier than foreclosure right now. I've been trying. You know what's funny is I read that. That does not say foreclosure, but that's the word that came up when reading this thing. You you are dyslexic. For cure sight? What? Focus right. Focus right. Okay. Took three times. Okay. Foreclosure for cure sight? I'm dyslexy. For cure sight. For cure sight. Hey there, what's your baby's name? For cure sight. That's a really cute baby. For cure sight. For cure sight. I've got a cousin named that. You have a cousin named for closure? Yeah. Does he need a new shirt? He needs t shirts. I'll bring him a t shirt tomorrow. A t shirt for closure. Tomorrow. That'll be good. That'll be good. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you do a German accent? No, not at all. Can you try? Heinz gets velvet. You go straight to the gym carry. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean it is something. To live with a dolphin you must Can you do English? Go over that uh Hello. Right, yes. I would really like to have a child before dawn. <laughs> That's good. That was good. I really love coffee and tea. And Scottish. I'd like to see the new Barbie movie. Scottish. Just think of Scotland. Scotland. Later I'll make you a wee little gillies for your feet. I think they go up and down more. I think they go up and down more. Uh, Ar- Ireland? Ireland is the same, laddie. A little flatter, right? A little flatter. Depends on where you're from. I think I have to hear it first and then I can try it. So if you're traversing through Ireland, right? Going through Dublin, then Kilkenny, then Killarney. Moving, moving through Dublin. We're going to the Gifts of Moor. That's where they throw their wives off the ledge. How about Middle Eastern? Can you do it? How about Middle Eastern? Can you do it? Why is it a stupid one? I don't know. How do about that. Middle Eastern? Can you do it? <laughs> I am I am an oppressed Middle Eastern woman. I don't know why. Oh my God, my friend. From oh my tu- God. I am from Turkey, my friend. Oh, my friend. I am from Turkey, my friend. Look at this rug. It is perfect this for you. This perfect rug. Perfect rug. I'll give it to you for $20. Dollars. I don't know. How about New York? I don't do accents. Room. I do impressions. And you're really good at them. And I'm not good at those and I'm better at accents. Yeah, that's great. I need to learn accents. I need to learn impressions. I have to like be embodying a human that I've heard speak like Michael Caine talks like this and I feel like he says Master Wayne and Batman will never return again. It's good. That Bruce face. Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Batman. Or you want to know how I got these scars? Oh. The 99 cent store. That's the one you always do for foreplay. And it gets him every time. That's how we made the baby. I was like, you're not going to get one over on me, Joker. You look beautiful. No, you look nervous. I like that. (laughs) And then Maggie Gyllenhaal's like, Harvey Dent. It's not something you can leave up to chance. I forget Jake has a sister. I love Jake Gyllenhaal so much. Me too. If you weren't going to be the father, I would choose him. Makes sense. Jake Gyllenhaal's a good hall pass. Jake Gyllenhaal pass. That should be his... He is fine. Should be his Instagram handle. Should we name our kid Jake Gyllenhaal? No. If it's a girl? We already talked about this. We did? (laughs) When did we talk about that? In our lives, not on here. 
To name it Jake Gyllenhaal? If it's a girl, then... Pinkle. Pinkle. Come here, Van Pinkle. Come here, Van Pinkle. Yeah, Van Pinkle, come sit down. Is there any other questions that we need to answer? Mm Mm-mm. Bottom line, we're pregnant. We're happy to be sharing it with you. We are. We're going to just trust the universe on this one. Hopefully more will be revealed in a really beautiful way. We got to hear the heartbeat. Oh, man. They put the tube in her That's doom. when it felt real. Yeah. It was real when we went to the OB at week like 12, which is really late. They stuck the thing inside of me. We saw a baby. She said, it's a baby. You got it. It's healthy. Heard the heartbeat. We heard the heartbeat. Both teared up. 146. We both teared up and it felt real for the first time. Like really real. It was beautiful. I'm really excited, sweetheart. And then she goes, you're 12 weeks and three days. And we were like, um, I thought it was 11 weeks and however many days. So that really does mean it was the first time. Awkward. Thank you guys for listening. Let us know um, what you think we're having, a boy or a girl. Yeah. Love you guys. Thanks for impregnating me. You're welcome. Anytime. Anytime? Hey.